Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's local news where we don't do any weather. We don't do all this sports. It's already on your phone. You know that. Uh, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Shoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, law and crime. You remember that guy named uh, Pratt who called his called in the 911 that his wife, Katrina, was dead? William Pratt? Well, guess what? He's killed himself. Spared the taxpayers a trial. And the Madeira murder case. According to U.S. Attorney of the Southern District of Ohio, William James Attaway, pictured here, pled guilty to murdering 63-year-old Rup Gupta, a well-known manager and owner of Madeira Beverage in February of 2021. Sad, sad, sad. He's been recommended for 45 years or more. McLean on the injured reserve hurt his oblique muscle. This is a wild story. Did you know the Reds? I, I heard yesterday there was a class action lawsuit filed against American Airlines for like people being stuck on a tarmac. You can't make this up. The Reds were stuck on the tarmac for eight hours due to in mechanical issues. Wow. Andrew Rabbit was the only one that uh, wasn't on the plane. Isn't that crazy? The Rubber Duck Regatta is coming up for the Free Store Food Bank, 29th Annual, September 3rd, part of Riverfest. The Rubber Duck Regatta. Participate if you like. This is a sad, sad, sad story. A young man in the middle, his name is Seth Burns. He was the guy that was shot and killed in Independence. He apparently was trying to protect um, someone, and he, he ca it cost his own life. That 17-year-old Zavian Turner's been charged with his murder. Just so sad. You hear his mom talk about this kid, and everybody, I um, mean, just heart-wrenching. St. Elizabeth is going to receive a $400,000 grant in federal funds to combat substance abuse. You know what cracks me about this? Why did it fit St. he's getting taxpayer? They make more money than God Almighty. <laughs> Folks, the world just moves and the way that it moves. And nobody either pays attention or cares or can, or can stop it. And it's all media, big corporate America, bad guys. I mean, it's just... You can't make this up. My cousin Josh posted something on the Reds commenting about Johnny Bench and being critical of L.A. De La Cruz. The Cincinnati Reds social media page chastised him for it, told him to stay on topic. I mean, corporate America and like Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, corporate America, everybody, there is no room for anybody unless you tow that party line. It's, it's, it's nuts. A Louisville police officer uh, graduated from the academy on Friday. Luis Rodriguez. He's already been canned. He went out and celebrated, I guess, too much. Got a DUI, caused a wreck. Sad. This is a salacious story. A Claremont County judge is under investigation. Uh... The judge's name is Jesse Cromick, who's apparently having sex with a court employee who's 25 years old. He's in his 40s. They said they were having sex in a closet. Uh, and the comment was, well, she's a beautiful girl. <laughs> I mean, oh my. Once upon a time, this didn't make the news and didn't make an investigation. But our day and age, it does. This is, are they consenting adults is all I want to know. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. You have a great one.